We're viewing through an autorefractor, and the cross in the middle is an infrared beam that's projected into the eye, which the instrument is trying to focus right now. And as it's going through the process, and the center is a the central target, which you'll see in just a second, a number of uh, lines in a circle that gradually clear up in the process as the optics of the machine adapt and calculate what your prescription is for nearsightedness, farsightedness, or astigmatism. Usually the horizontal and vertical lines are not visible because they are in the infrared range. And at this point it's reached a decision on what it thinks the prescription is supposed to be. And due to the advanced optics of the machine it's going to be fairly close. Although the subjective refinement that we do is still going to give you a better prescription. This type of instrument is called an autorefractor. This is from the operator's view. It operates almost completely automatically to determine a, a reasonably good starting point for your prescription and uses something called wavefront optics to help refine the calculations to decide what your prescription is. In the process, it also reads the curvature across the cornea or the front surface of your eye and the clarity of the media or of the lens and the fluid inside the eye to give an indication if there is a cataract or some obstruction that might be causing poor alter readings by the instrument 